we just got the K20 from the local salvage yard. They said it does run. Um, and I paid $270. I'll put the receipt on screen. But this little truck's been doing awesome. Like, you can hear it's kind of rubbing. That's the uh, mud flaps dragging the ground. So we'll probably have to trim them. Or they'll naturally trim themselves, either way. But this thing's doing awesome. Uh, so we're going to go back to the house and we'll go over stuff when I get there. Okay, here's the K20. It's a K20A3. Um, we're going to probably end up doing the K20A2 heads on it. Um, but yeah, it's all here. So me and Matt are going to go ahead and manhandle this and uh, get it out of here. So Because it's so heavy. Yeah. The lady was like, oh, that's going to be too heavy for you guys to lift up. Yeah, she didn't believe us we could pick it up. I was like, it's not that bad. No. And it helps a lot that the truck is lowered, so the tailgate is actually closer to the ground. So. Yeah, it was super easy to put it in here. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get it out real quick. All right, so here it is. Matt's gonna go ahead and get all the plastic off. Oh, I didn't even need the knife. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> so, for the people who are kind of new to this video or this channel or whatever, it's an Acura engine designed by Honda going into a Mazda that's designed by Ford, and we're gonna be pairing it with an RX-8 transmission. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that's not a crazy setup. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna call it the uh, the Franken Ranger, you know, because it's not even a Ranger, no. but it but it's but it's a Ranger. It'll drive way better. <laughs> Definitely. Gonna keep all the symbols on them. Yeah, for sure. I actually have a carbon fiber cover that'll go here. I'll just put this Acura symbol on it. I'll just pop it off. But yeah, it'll have the intake manifold will actually be coming out this way instead of the traditional way, which goes over here just because it's going to be in a rear-wheel drive setup but yeah they test these engines uh, and said that these ones ran when they pulled them so good uh, i couldn't get a warranty because there's only a 30-day warranty and it'll probably take longer than 30 days to get all this done and installed in the truck mostly because of funds and shipping and all those other things because we still have to figure out a whole lot of stuff to get this thing fired up like we got to get the adapter plate for the K20 to RX-8 transmission, which they do make. We just looked up and we have to, oh, uh, there's quite a few things. We have to do the wiring, computer, all kinds of stuff, but it'll definitely happen. And I just wanted to show you guys that we got the engine, but I'm going to go ahead and take him back. Uh, we're going to take the TL because why yes. not? You love driving it's in this. fast and it's got really cold AC. Yes, it's awesome. So I'm going to set the, uh, set the GoPro up in there and we'll go for a little ride in this and take him back to his house and come back. All right, here we go. This has just been a good car. It really has. It's been great. It responds well to mods. A lot of people say these don't respond well to mods, but they do. Yeah. I never, never, you haven't had any problems with it. No. It's been great. I mean, the EF fought you. Everything has fought you so far. Yeah, except for this. Yeah. AC's cold. It rides good. Everyone wants me to lower it more, but I think it's functional height. It looks good. It rides good. I don't want to mess with that. Yeah, for daily driving, especially yeah. with the bumpy roads right here. Yep. It's not bad. I'm going to go ahead and get on it. Yeah, it's a really comfortable car. 
this is what I call the ideal daily for me because it has its power. It's also a very smooth ride. I love it. It's just, I couldn't be any happier. This is, a lot of people are like, hey, water meth injection, do the, keep going, start doing internals. I don't want to push it too far. I, li I like to retain some drivability, daily ability. Yeah. My fuel economy, a lot of people have been saying there's no way it got that good a gas mileage. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This thing does get phenomenal mileage when I'm not flooring it all the time. Sips fuel. Yes. It's crazy. And no check engine codes. It's because you did it right. Yeah. And Eric's tune, really good stuff on here. So it's pulling hard and yeah. I'm just happy with it. Like 330, 330 six horses roughly around there whatever it was the last time at the dyno i think it was right. 336 or 337 it feels like you've got more now yeah definitely it definitely feels quicker uh, yeah i felt a lot more responsive it was like instant yep. which is what you would expect from a super a supercharger right Right. but it, it before it almost felt like it still had a little bit of lag to it yeah it did and now it, it's like instant it put punches and puts you right back in your seat it's awesome yeah and uh, i'm running the seats are even comfortable <laughs> yeah the seats are great I actually want to get racing seats, but also at the same time I don't because these just, they, they're comfortable. Maybe yeah. get them reupholstered or something. Yeah, there you go. Put some new leather, fresh leather or something on them. Yeah, that would definitely be good. There's a there's a blue Civic running around here. I keep yeah, hearing. blue bedline one. Yeah. <laughs> I need to do a pull next to him on the highway. You do? Oh, yeah. Well, did you guys like that? If uh, I found that blue bedline Civic with the B16 turbo set up on it uh, and did a pull next to him on the highway if you would let me know in the comments because uh i may know the guy i may know the guy he, he may be in my car right now <laughs> sounds like fun yeah for sure i'm gonna get on it one last time and just do a little third gear pull so that we can hear that supercharger whine acceleration it too. Is. It kicks in right away and it is so smooth. The ride's smooth, everything, and it's quiet. And you don't get those nasty fumes in the car? Uh-uh. No. Perfect. Huge upgrade from the EF. Oh yeah. I mean, I love the EF, don't get me wrong, but this is like, this is what I wanted. Yeah. I've always wanted one of these too. Always. Okay, well I'm gonna go drop him off at his house and uh, then we're going to go back to my house. We'll go over a few things on the K-Swap truck. Jeff's pulling up. Yeah, I love this car. I don't know if you've seen this in previous videos from a while back. It's a super sweet car. I like it. It's turbo, 3.8. You pop the hood real quick? Yep. They're seeing all kinds of stuff that isn't Texas Honda. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. But, you know, they still get the, you know, the Acura and, oof. Looks like you've done some stuff to it since last time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, recently. Recently, she's done a lot of work. Yeah, it looks good. Don't mind my rags. I check my oil every week. So. Yeah. Real people who drive their cars on a, <laughs> on a daily definitely have things like that. Yep, keep them handy. Yep, it's awesome. But uh, I've got to start doing a barbecue, so we're gonna catch up and then we'll go over some more stuff. Okay, so Jeff left after we had a little barbecue, getting caught up and stuff because he's gonna be moving back to Washington. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and tear the valve cover off. We're gonna see if it has the uh, VTEC on both sides, both on intake and exhaust side. Um, I don't know what people have done in the past, so that's why we tear the valve cover off. Because this is the K20A3 out of the RSX, so it's very well possible that it doesn't have the good head on it. But either way, we need to tear it apart to find out. So I'm gonna go ahead and time elapse that for you and get the head off. Okay, this is what it looks like under the valve cover. Well taken care of. It means the oil uh, changes were done frequently just because of how clean it is in there. It's a really good sign. 
um, it does have intake VTEC on intake side and it doesn't have VTEC on exhaust side so I do need to upgrade the head most likely uh, we'll figure out what we're gonna do on that I am running on very little funds whatsoever and this build is gonna be kind of pretty expensive to do anyways so this might be the last thing that gets done uh, I'll probably install it without this done unless I can afford to somehow uh, get the different head before I swap it in but I still have to get a pretty expensive intake manifold that comes out this way because this is how the engine's going to sit inside the Mazda truck so the intake's going to come out this way so that's like $700 or something um, this exhaust here might work if we you know route it to go down I'm not exactly sure but uh if I can't afford to get a race header I'll try to use this uh, for the meantime, but of course I'll upgrade it most likely going turbo with this in the future anyways So we'll see what happens there, but overall it looks like I got a pretty good deal for $270. I'm really happy about that But I'll probably end up painting the valve cover a wrinkle red. It's just kind of These look good wrinkle red. So I'll probably do that put my carbon fiber uh, coil cover that I got from Michael So definitely gonna have to do that. I'm gonna get a hold of Michael see what he thinks and uh yeah we'll go from there but definitely making some progress so before i get off here i wanted to show you this this is the exhaust side and intake side this is how the engine would be placed in we've got exhaust side and intake side set up perfectly on this 2.3 that's in here and these are the heater core hoses which ironically is on the same side as these heater core hoses so that'll work out well i'm not too sure on if the exhaust will fit in there but like i said once we get this in there we'll know more on that uh, if i have to order an aftermarket one i'll have to save up and order an aftermarket one we'll definitely have to do something different with the intake because they make one that goes out this way and i will have to buy that one but one step at a time i'm not made of money um, so if you guys want to help donate to this build i will definitely give you credit there's a link in the description where you can paypal any donation helps not required so um, if you guys want to do that, I'll definitely put your name once this thing is done. I'll put your name at the end of the credits, thanking you for your donation and contribution to the build because it would be because of you guys that I was even able to do it. But like I said, if no one does that, that's totally fine too. I have no problem doing this on my own. Uh, just any support would be better than no support. So definitely can't wait to see this in there. Still got to get wiring harness, ECU, the intake manifold, and the exhaust figured out. Um, I'll have to build custom brackets and mounts for this thing, but I think that'll probably be the least of our problem. We still have to get a $1,000 uh, RX-8 to K-Series adapter plate, clutch, and flywheel and stuff. So it's going to be a pretty pricey build. So like I said, anything helps. Greatly appreciated. Um, if you don't have anything to offer, I totally understand. Just feel free to share the videos around. Hit that like button. And if you're new here, please click that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn the bell icon on to get notified of every upload because a lot of people have not been getting my notifications and my views reflect that. So definitely stay tuned. We will have more as soon as I do. I will post a video, but we'll go ahead and get off here. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as I like to say, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.